up, you guys? I'm Lisa Schwartz, and welcome back to Will You Accept This Ride here on The Bachelor Insider. I wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I know you're asking, wait, the season's over. Why would I do that? Well, guys, there's more to come. The Bachelorette is coming our way, and I am so excited. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but it is a very fancy night tonight. Tonight was the finale. It's over. <laughs> Just give me a second to gather myself. <laughs> it's tears of joy. All right, let's do this. The ring may be in sight, but first, Becca and Lauren have to meet Ari's family. Waiting there is Ari's dad, the OB, the original bachelor. You and mom fell in love really quickly and got married quick. Yeah, that's why I actually do believe in the show, because if you need six months to fall in love with somebody, I don't think it's uh, real love. And his mom, twin brother, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and sister, who was the co-defendant in the ultimate demise of their little hamster, Michelle. R.I.P. Hey kids, no matter how ashy your hamster is, never rub lotion on it. With the final rose approaching, Lauren started to worry that this might be history repeating itself. The time that I have to think about things by myself, I'm able to reflect on my fears. And Becca had concerns about where Ari's affections may lie. Is he equally in love with two women at this point? Ooh boy, this is complicated. After sitting down to pick out one hell of a ring with Mr. Neil Lane himself, Ari had to make what was ultimately the most important decision of his entire life. Becca or Lauren? You guys, it's love, true love. Ari's engaged. Or is he? <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? Let's do this! <laughs> you guys, my guest tonight has been part of The Bachelor Nation since Sean Lowe's season. She's a jet setter, a go-getter, and honestly, I just want to be your best friend. I wonder if she knows how to French braid. Leslie! Will you accept this ride? Ah! Oh my god, she's like I will, I will, I will! Oh my god, you're so cute! <laughs> like slow motion running, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's a night to celebrate. I know. Thank you for joining us. Yes, oh my God. for having me. You were on our finale on the night I of know. the Bachelor finale. There's just so much happening. There's so much happening yeah. and I am honored to be here during the finale episode. We Thanks for having me. We go to prom with me? <laughs> sure will, I feel like we should do a prom pose. Prom pose. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. I've been a fan of yours forever, and so I'm so excited that you're like back Thanks. on the scene. Me too. Oh! The Winter Games. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it works, guys. It really works. No, it does. It does. Okay, I, so I took a five-year hiatus, yeah. which was great. Let's talk about this. So yeah. on Sean season, you talked a lot about how you didn't fully like express your emotions. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, you know, yes, you probably would have kept me had I said I love you, but I wasn't ready to tell him that, and that's okay. From that experience, why? watching on this season, seeing mm -hmm. Lauren and Becca, who do you relate to? Relate to. I definitely relate to Becca. In what way? I think she's super just outgoing and talkative and confident in who she is. And you can see that come across on screen. I love Lauren, beautiful girl, but definitely more hesitant to speak her mind. But that was what you were originally, right? Right, maybe, yeah, I guess maybe five years ago, yeah. I would have been a Lauren. Fast forward five years, yeah. I'm a Becca. It's interesting because they're so different and yet here Ari is telling both women he loves them. Yeah, and I feel like everyone's having a hard time wrapping their head around that also. Like, Becca especially was like, how, like I just don't, I can't process how you could like love us both and she's so different. Ooh, Becca was having a freak out moment. I don't blame her I don't though, either. Right? I don't either at all. So his family thinks that Becca would be good because she would challenge him. Mm -hmm. Is it good to like choose someone that's gonna challenge you or the do you wanna go safe with someone that like we have to reassure them every day. Right. He would be, he would basically be taking care of Lauren as opposed to Becca sort of taking care of him. Right. Which is like that's a good kind way to of put how it. they broke it down. That's a good way to put it. And I feel like he in the end said he doesn't mind telling somebody he loves them twenty times a day. I know he's a little sad. Yeah. I is. love that. Okay. All right, so here's how the game works. This is your passport. Mm, I know your book on the planet. Your real one's probably full. How many have you gone through? I have 78 pages in it. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play a little game. 
I'm gonna ask you some questions about travel, all things travel. True or false, multiple choice. If you get it right, we're gonna stamp ya. I'm ready. What is the most visited tourist attraction in the world? Oh, is it God. A, Times Square, B, Buckingham Palace, C, the Las Vegas Strip, or D, the Eiffel Tower? I'm gonna go with the Eiffel Tower. Survey says? It's actually the Las Vegas Strip. That's, I've never even been to Vegas. I've never been to Wait, Vegas. you've been everywhere but Vegas? Yeah. Take I, this thing to I, Vegas! I hate that question. <laughs> Next. Mmm, koi asado is a delicacy in Ecuador. What is it? A, spiced earthworms, B, chicken nuggets, C, mushrooms on a stick, or D, grilled guinea pig? Grilled guinea pig, give me that stamp. What? <laughs> How did you know? Service says yes! <laughs> country do you commonly find squat toilets where you do your business in a hole in the ground? Japan. China. Is it A? <laughs> <laughs> Is it A, France, B, Greece, C, China, or D, all of the above? D. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> True or false? In Albania, people nod their head for no and shake their head for yes. True. Huh? <laughs> Good for Thank God. Like for a traveler boggler. Like <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <laughs> like, what are your thoughts on Ari just overall this season? I love Ari because he, you know, watching a season, he didn't go on to be like the next Instagram model or find this Instagram fame, social media fame, whatever, and build upon that. He went on there to find a wife. He really did. And I don't think you can deny that. Yeah. Ari's family, I thought, had a lot to do in this episode. They yeah. had a lot to say. They yeah, did not hold back. Let's talk about this. <laughs> like, right off the bat, I feel like his brother was all about Lauren. Mm -hmm. Like, really saw the connection, not between the two, not only between the two of them, but also, like, hey, him and his wife are this way. Yeah. He was Lauren's, making a lot of comparisons. Yeah, which, like, is that weird? Or? I, don't, I don't think so. Like, I think he was just trying to relate his experience to Ari's experience, and they are so different. It's just crazy. I feel like in all these seasons, I haven't seen a family be so forward with, like... I know. It's usually like, well, we like them both, which they did. They yeah. liked them both, but they, like, had very strong opinions oh about it. Oh, my God. Ari's dad killed I me. I felt bad for Becca, because I was I, like, oh, my God, he doesn't like her. Like, this is, so, <laughs> this is his way of blowing her off. He did, but I also love the fact that he's so honest. Like, I feel like during that whole episode, he was like, oh, good luck, Ari. I don't know what you're going to do, son. And, yeah. then, and then with Becca, he's like, well, I like you both of y'all. I don't even know what to tell they Ari. They kept talking about Lauren with Becca, and I was like, right oh, <laughs> oh, girl, no. This is, so, I'm so uncomfortable. Cringing moment. She was yes. so uncomfortable, too. She handled it like a champ, though. And she really did. came out on top, but. I would have been that crazy girlfriend, like, <laughs> just coming after my maybe possibly in-laws. I mean, I guess, not a good look for anybody. Yeah, not a good look. Um, you are delightful. I'm so Aww. glad that you're back in our lives. Hey, you're the best. Thanks. Thanks for having Aww. me. Thanks, Lisa. See you this soon. This was so fun. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye. See Be careful. <laughs> Guys, definitely have a new best friend. I don't know if she knows it yet, but it's happening. <laughs> best friend charms and everything. I hope that you had so much fun this season. I certainly did. And you know what? For the first time in 22 seasons, we have a two-night finale. Ah! <laughs> That's right, tomorrow night on ABC at 8 p.m. It is going to get crazy. Make sure you check it out. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to this channel. We will be here, you guys. The Bachelorette is coming, and it is going to be so much fun. So um, I guess that's it. Thanks for joining me this season. I've had a great time. I hope that you have too. And uh, for the last time, kibble and bits, step on it! <laughs> Talking to the taxidermy. <laughs>